All right, I'll make you a deal. How about this? These are looking pretty delicious right here. I'm not gonna lie. For some reason, I've been wanting a muffin super bad lately. They're buy one, get one free. If we're under the budget, get a muffin. We're getting them. Deal? All right, good morning. Finally up. Finally up. Nice shirt. Yeah, can you believe it? I just woke up like this, man. Hair gel and everything. <laughs> didn't even take a shower. <laughs> Hashtag woke up like this? Yeah. You didn't even know I was filming, did you? I think I'm still in dreams. <laughs> All right, let's eat, man. Meal one. gonna need a little bit more carbs in this but it's easy first meal i'm gonna do the ground beef and jasmine rice from megafit most of the meals that i eat throughout the day like pretty much all of them does come from megafit meals but for today in today's video um i'm gonna eat the first meal for megafit and then why don't we go to the grocery store because most people they're cooking their own food that's what i did when i first started bodybuilding was i prepped all my meals i had no sponsor nothing like that so even though I'm going to be honest and transparent that pretty much all my meals come from Megafit, let's just go and um, let's make up our meals today and maybe we can show a little bit of the budget too as far as like budgeting for, you know, meal prep and off season. So, so I don't talk a whole heck of a lot about supplements in the YouTube videos, but I think today is pretty important because these are all the health and digestion support that I use as far as supplements to keep my stomach tight and not full and bloated and also be able to help absorb and utilize all the food that I'm eating. I mean, off season, you're pushing a lot of food, right? A lot of food volume, a lot of calories, and you wanna make sure that you're absorbing as much of it as possible so that way you're getting the most out of it. You're not just filling your stomach and then wasting it, right? So these two, the probiotic and the light and tight, that's first thing in the morning for me, <clears throat> as soon as I first get up, right before a meal. And then I alternate the Evolog and Evozymes throughout the day. On more of my high carb meals, I will do the Evolog. And if it's like little higher fattier meals, I might do this. Really, does it matter? No, I mean, you can really just, as long as you're doing this, maybe let's say three times a day, and this maybe, you know, two, three times a day, or vice versa, you know, just spread out consistently, just like your meals, take them with your meals. That's what's gonna help, you know, keep the digestive support going and just not feeling backed up, right? And so that's why I said earlier, this guy right here is the one that's gonna really help um, flush things out. But on a consistent basis, these three. Anyway, I just wanted to quickly mention that and I think it's really important because we are pushing more food right now and people do want to know, Derek, how do you keep your waist tight in the off season when you're bulking? This is part of it. I mean, it's not everything. Doing vacuum poses first thing in the morning and abdominal control, breathing work, uh, making sure that you are picking foods that do work well with your stomach and your digestion, all of that combined. And also another thing too, not drinking too much fluid or water or anything at, uh, at the same time that you're eating a meal. So you don't wanna just shove a bunch of stuff in your stomach all at one time. I would say wake up, get hydrated, you know, drink some water, give it, you know, 10, 15 minutes, eat your first meal, you know, sip some water, and then, you know, give it another 10, 15 more minutes, and then you can start drinking more water again. But like I said, I just wanna let you guys know about the supplements and these little tricks or tips for off season whenever we're eating large amounts of food on how to keep the, the waist tight. <clears throat> Not even gonna measure these out. I'm just gonna eat them. If you don't wash them? I'm just gonna eat them. I love blueberries. 
delicious. And um, they're good, and they're good for you. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, don't show this one. This is the secret. Don't worry, the camera's off. Three pumps, oh man. Dangerous. Dangerous stuff. You ever wonder how you milk an almond? <laughs> Probably wondering why I put it in a shaker cup, huh? Shaken, not stirred. Shaken, not stirred. All right, the goal here is to get what we need but let's try to get it on a budget. All right, so if we're gonna try to get this on a budget, I think we should start with the protein, the meats. So let's go first to get our protein, and then we can get the carbs, and then we can add the fats last. Or we can start right here. Dude. The carrot cake from Publix is ridiculous. Looks good. Chicken first. So, got different options here, but I want to just get like the boneless, skinless chicken breast. That's it. And you can get organic or you can get the cheaper stuff. Preferably, if you can swing it on your budget, do the organic, but truthfully, all the years that I've bodybuilt, I've always just kind of used like this, the regular stuff. Now keep in mind, the organic probably does have less sodium and fillers and things like that in it, which is very important while you're in prep. In the off season, not as big of a deal, but just keep that in mind that, you know, organic probably is the best route to go. But today, again, we're on a budget, assuming, you know, we don't want to, do the organic and the pricier meats and foods. We're just gonna go with the lesser expensive stuff. So it looks like this one right here is gonna be the cheapest. It's three twenty-six a pound. It used to be a dollar ninety-nine. Can you believe that? It's crazy. <laughs> when I was back in like 2015, 2016, it was like a dollar ninety-nine a pound. So we got. Let's see here. 4.69 pounds so this should last us a few days now let's grab some beef oh here we go sirloin tip side steak thin sliced 5.99 a pound so this here actually probably is if you want steak this is probably what we're gonna go with as you see there's not very much fat in this it's pretty much all just protein and it's the cheapest and it's thinly sliced so you can just quickly cook it you should be ready to go in just a couple minutes after you you know fry it grill it however you want to cook it you know? all right i got two one is 1.25 or sorry 1.22 1.36 so just let's just say two and a half pounds worth of steak that'll last a couple days if we're gonna eat just maybe one red meat meal a day could get some egg whites too and some eggs i haven't really been eating eggs or egg whites recently but they have been a staple in my diet pretty much my whole bodybuilding journey and most people eat eggs and egg whites in theirs and that's what we put most of our athletes on at, at uc fit so let's just go ahead and grab some egg whites and some eggs blows my mind how expensive eggs are now. It's crazy. Yeah. Large and in charge. If I'm not mistaken, the large eggs have about five grams of fat. The medium, I think, has just a little bit, which is, let's say, four grams of fat. And then the extra large is like six grams. So, really, uh, I don't think it matters all that much, but... I usually just stick to the large bullets. So yeah, we're gonna keep it with just the steak or beef, the chicken and the egg whites and eggs. 
And then of course, we're gonna do like some protein powder, some isoject protein powder. So really just keeping the protein down to just four sources, three from the store and then one powder. Um, we could throw in some fish, whether that's a lean fish like cod or tilapia or mahi-mahi, something like that. Or we could go with like a fattier fish like salmon. Salmon is perfect for an off-season meal. Truthfully, I eat that on a regular basis. Do I cook it? No. I don't, I don't like cooking salmon, to be honest. Beef, eggs, and chicken are super simple to cook. We'll show you that later. So we're just gonna stick with that. And yeah, preferably I would like to have one fish meal like salmon and one beef meal a day. But again, we're on a budget. We're trying to keep it very simple and this is a great start. So let's just keep it here and let's go get our carbs now. All right, this is where you shouldn't have to worry too much about spending money because rice is probably one of the cheapest things that you can buy. You can buy a big bag like this, like less than 20 bucks, it'll last you, shoot, probably a month. Um, we'll just get a smaller bag for now, but you know, the more you buy, typically the cheaper it is, but it's just rice. Rice is very, very inexpensive. Jasmine rice. Oh, and also too, I should mention, there's different types of rice. So which rice should you get? Whatever you prefer. The brown rice is gonna have a lower glycemic index, meaning it's not gonna raise your blood sugar quite as much or quite as fast as something like a, like a jasmine rice. For me, when I'm prepping, I like basmati rice because it's kind of in the middle. It's not as high as um, jasmine rice as far as the glyce glycemic index but it's not as low as brown rice, because honestly, I hate brown rice. I really just, I've never liked brown rice. I, I really never eat it. Um, so basmati in prep, because it keeps my hunger away. Whereas in the off season, jasmine rice, typically when I eat jasmine rice, I'm hungrier after I eat it than before sometimes. So off season, we're growing, we wanna keep our appetite up, our metabolism firing, so we're gonna grab the jasmine rice today. Oh, look at this. Big deal right here. Score. And this one over here is like eight bucks for the same amount. So save three bucks and grab this one. Shoot. All right, so I'm gonna grab some oats and what do you know? These have gotten a little bit more expensive too. <laughs> but I like the quick oats rather than like the old fashioned or anything else. Steel cut oats, not a big fan of, but if you like them, that's fine. Um, oats and actually even like grits have been something that I enjoy in the off season. Um, oats, I'll eat pre-contest, grits I will not. But uh, this we're just eating once a day. First thing in the morning with our eggs or whatever meal. Again, I showed you guys this morning, it was just beef and rice was my first meal today. But sometimes I like to switch it up, I'll do the eggs and oats. All right, last carb source, fruit. Yes, fruit. So does it have sugars? Absolutely, fruit we all know has sugars in it. It is a carbohydrate source, but it's very, very beneficial. It's healthy for the liver also, and it actually has some fiber in it. So it's gonna help with digestion as well. Got a lot of really good nutrients in fruits. So let's go grab some berries. I like to do this, especially in the off season, because pre-contest we're restricting the amount of calories and carbohydrates so I would use veggies right in the off season I'm already eating a lot of food volume I don't really like to add any more to it meaning veggies kind of but where do I get my fiber well fruit oats have fiber and then of course you know you can supplement with fiber powders as well so the Eva greens at home but that's for another conversation so let's grab some fruit here we go again organic non-organic Big price difference. Again, if you can swing it, do the organic. If we're on a budget, we'll go here. Blueberries, check. Let's get three. May as well, right? I know Justin's gonna wanna eat some blackberries. Yeah. I got, I got two of these the other day, and I think she ate pretty much all. I think you and her both ate all of them. <laughs>
those are kind of my go-to fruits is like the blueberries and the blackberries you could always do the raspberries you could always do strawberries i'll tell you what apples and bananas are great choices too i might even pick up an apple here in a minute but you know if you like pineapple if you like mangoes if you like other fruits sure you can throw that in right grapefruits but these right now are like i don't know just kind of my go-to they're easy to pick and eat so we are done with the carbs right now we're gonna do rice for the majority of our carbs a little bit of oats a little bit of fruits and now let's go grab some some extra healthy fats can i push this a little bit okay thank you right that's good that's okay Yeah, they're all about the same so if they're really hard and like you can't, there's no like you don't want to squeeze them super hard but if, if you don't feel anything like uh, a little mush a little mush yeah <laughs> then it's probably not quite ripe yet so you might want to wait another day but um, you'd like to ideally find one that's just a little soft and not real rock hard but um, this is what we got so We'll grab an avocado just because I've been eating a lot of them lately. Oh, these look good. Dang. Remember, we're on a budget, bro. Let's, uh, let's get that deal. Let's get that BOGO. These have higher omega fatty acids, though. So in the past, I would always eat a bunch of almonds. And that's good, too. That's a great option. But off-season, these walnuts have... A lot of omegas in it so we will roll with these it's super easy to eat too right like you just open up the bag pop it go and carry it with you it seals up stays fresh for a long time so those will last you quite some time no sorry maybe for another day get out of here bro cheesecake. did you know that they sell cheesecake factory bread, bread here Keep walking. The brown bread. Jelson calls it chocolate bread. She's chocolate. like, it's chocolate bread. Like it's brown bread. Keep walking. There's no chocolate in there. Keep walking. No distractions. All right, go, go, go. So this is good to cook with. Dang, that's getting expensive too. Even though we're on a budget, I would not be using the butter or canola oil. I would use, still use something like olive oil or coconut oil. That's that's for the zero calorie spray, but you could just always just get. The regular oil too. So we have two options. We have the smaller size, the bigger size. Most likely the bigger size, you're probably gonna get the better deal. But let's look here. We got per tablespoon, 14 grams of fat. There's 17 servings in here. You do it twice a twice a day, it's still gonna last you over a week. So we'll roll with this one. And the good thing is you can cook with it too which I prefer to cook your food, cook your meats, and then pour it over the top of your food, but you can cook with it as well. So. We have three sources of protein, we have three sources of carbohydrates, and we have three sources of fat. I don't know about you, I mean, we could always grab seasonings, we could grab sauces, things like that, but I think we're good. What are some other options that we could do? Like I said, for the proteins, we could do some sort of fish, for the carbohydrates, we could do pasta. We could do like English muffins. You could do, there's a there's a lot of different food sources that you could get for carbohydrates. But for me, these are the best ones. Also potatoes. For fats, we could go down the list and, and grab a, some other healthy fats as well. But for me, these are my staples, my go-tos. I like to have some sort of a tree nut, some sort of like, maybe like an avocado, and then an oil to go with it. So simple and yeah, we're ready to go home and Cook it up and eat it. How much do you think all of this is? Hmm. No. Under a hundred? Guess. Under a hundred? Under a hundred. Yeah. Before or after tax? After. After tax? Yeah. I think it's gonna be like eighty-seven. Actually, I'm so confident. I'm gonna go ahead and buy some seasonings. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do it. All right. Your favorite. This is my favorite right now. Batty seasoning. Batty. That's what I call it. I don't think that's what it is, but. <laughs> it's a baddie. This one here, you're gonna save a ton, but I don't really need that much. So I'm gonna grab this one. And since we're doing three of everything, let's grab one more. A little bit of reduced sodium won't hurt us. 
All right, let's go ring it up and see if we're under the budget. Let's do it. All right, I'll make you a deal. How What's about up? this? These are looking pretty delicious right here. I'm not gonna lie. For some reason, I've been wanting a muffin super bad lately. They're buy one, get one free. If we're under the budget, get a muffin. We're getting them. All right, deal? Yep. All right. We're off to a bad start. Gets cheaper after this. I want to get one free. Six, what the heck? Yeah, the sign, oh, the because, sign said, because they're two different prices. That may be why. Look, because one is eight forty nine and one is six forty nine. Oh, I got two different ones. So it may it it may be it may be because so of the price. So try scanning. Oh yeah. So if I would just get, yeah. So if you take, take this one back. So I can. Give me just a second, I'll swap them out. Hey. Dang, bro, you might have been spot on. That'd be crazy. <laughs> just over my last All right. You get that muffin. It's off season, so. Might have a little treat. Hold on. See if this is buy one get one. All right, these are for Jelson. We know she likes the chocolate. Oh, nine. Boom. Score. Extra calories. Ninety-three thirty-nine. So, you guys get a treat. Derek really wanted to cook for you guys, but um, I have to prep the chicken first. <laughs> right, baby. <laughs> He's like, I'll grill it if you prep it. The thing is, I get so like, I'll, I'll be like trying to cut all this fat off and everything. He does get so into it, like he hyper focuses on it, so. Okay, how long do you need to warm up the grill? <laughs> I'm hungry. I'm like. Should be cooking chicken around 375. I'm seriously tempted to just open up a <laughs> Mega Fit meal and just pop it in the microwave and eat it. <laughs> It'll take 12 minutes to make those. Actually. Listen, I don't have 12 minutes. Like, oh, like 10 minutes to make those. Five minutes on each side. I'm hungry and I gotta get to the gym. Baby, season it and then put it in the grill. It's not that hard. <laughs> so much effort. <laughs> ah! As Trevor's, <laughs> Trevor's eating the Mega Fit pizza. Uh, <laughs> so much effort. Which one is that one? Chicken, white white chicken. the white chicken. I didn't have to cook it. Do, yeah, yeah, even Jelson. Why don't you just get Mega Fit meals? I want to, but I I want this, you know, because we're shooting a video today. But I'm hungry. Yeah, I can grab some rice. Mm hmm. You would. <laughs> you think it's ready? Maybe you have to season it. I want you to pay attention to how Derek seasons his food. You know what? I haven't put garlic powder on there for a while. Alright, this is how you're supposed to season the food. Okay? Get it real hot. <laughs> like, don't do it! <laughs> you gotta make don't sure that it, there's baby. enough counter space. <laughs> Around your seasoning. Nice and gentle, like we talked about. <laughs> Talk about how you used to season your food when Scott sodium did not matter at first. It was um, almost distasteful <laughs> for me, but it was definitely distasteful for others. <laughs> Guaranteed. Just a light season. Really, you should do this after you cook it, I think. I think so. I think you should just... I mean, I think it just depends on your preference, right? I think it's... When it comes to the sodium, though, like, you can measure out the sodium a lot easier when you just use... Yeah, I mean, like... This and, like, a teaspoon. When you're on prep, we usually cook it with no seasoning at all, so... Yeah. Does cooking do this to you? No, eating does. Woohoohoo! Look at that!
Oh boy. Ooh, got the line. Look at that. Mm, that's fine. I'll eat it. In the off season, if it's close, like within a couple, like like point two, point usually point three, I would cut a little off. But oh, well, there's <coughs> point two. Perfect. Boom. Um, I don't know. I just like as long as it's around eight ounces or seven ounces, eight ounces, whatever. That's you know, good for me. A little more, a little less is fine. So a little more protein doesn't hurt. I don't want to go crazy. I don't want to do like 10, 12 ounces. I don't, for me, I just never really thought it was necessary to go much above eight ounces of protein per meal. So this one, we got nine ounces of rice, 8.2 ounces of chicken. And I think I'm going to add, I think I'm going to add a little bit of avocado, like a half an avocado. avocado. <laughs> busted. Busted. Just one pre workout. Look at this. We didn't even need to go get groceries. All right, so we just wrapped up a back workout today with Adam and Zoe, part of the UC Fit team. But we're back here for the full day of eating. So, post workout, we are going to do our go to shake, which is the Isoject protein. Two scoops, 50 grams of protein. Sorry guys, lemon cake, ice lemon cake is sold out. So this is the last tub. Sorry to disappoint you guys, but there's a lot of other good flavors too. Oatmeal cookies, probably my favorite one right now. Um, cinnamon crunch, s'mores, vanilla. There's a lot of really good ones, so. Cream of rice. I should also mention too, I did two scoops of the Glycoject. This is the carb powder. I did that intro workout, so 50 grams of carbs intro workout and two scoops of the Amino Chem. I guess you want to count that as part of the full day of eating. Yeah. Either way, that's my intro workout is Amino Chem and Glycoject. Post workout is Isoject and cream of rice or if you don't have any cream of rice and want to do more glycoject, you can do that too. Just something that's fast digesting, easily absorbed into the body. And uh, that way I can go and have my next meal within about an hour. And that's going to be another whole food meal. So slam this shake and then I'll see you at the next meal. I'll add a little fruit to this meal too. Boom. Eight ounces rice, eight ounces chicken. I'm gonna do no fats in this meal because I'm gonna add a little extra berries to it. So a little higher carb meal. I'll take an Eva log to keep my blood sugar under control and make sure that all the food goes to the muscle, especially with it being post-workout. Um, could I have fats in this meal? Sure. Sometimes I eat um, salmon. Sometimes if I don't have beef in the morning, I'll eat beef in the evening uh, as my meal after training. But I figured, like I said, I'm going to add it to some extra berries in here. I want to increase the carbs so keep the fats a little lower. And then the next meal that I have will add some extra fats to it. So that's, uh, what is this? Two whole food meals, pre-workout, one shake. This is meal four. Come on. <laughs> Am I opening it right now? What the heck? This is childproof. All right. Now, I'm not gonna lie. This is not something that I would use pre-contest. Off season? It's probably pretty okay. Pretty okay. It is. I mean, it's only got four grams of fat, two grams of carbs, and you get two tablespoons worth. So let me actually weigh this out and show you. 
It's probably fine. <laughs> it's probably pretty okay. <laughs> all right, it's okay for the off season, all right? <laughs> it is, I mean, come on. Look, if we're trying to be like legit, everything needs to be as clean as possible and best for you, then yeah, maybe this isn't 100%, you know, the greatest thing, but come on, it's buff a little bit of buffalo sauce. I'm gonna kill you, man. So, all right. Tastes delicious, by the way. Oh, I know. It is. Oh, do you know? I know. Oh, okay. I wonder why I was getting low. I'm gonna see how much 31 grams is. A lot. We're not even gonna use 31 grams. Actually, yeah, we will. Nope. Oof. Oof. Still 31. Still 31. All right. Tell me that's not plenty for this meal. It's a lot. You can probably eat that for two meals. So four grams of fat, two grams of carbs. We need the calories. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Watch, I'm not even gonna use all of it. I like chicken wings, man. Goodness. Feel better? Feel a lot better, man. Okay, meal five. We have the Flex Lewis signature meal. This is the salmon that I was talking about earlier. And it's one of my favorite meals from Mega Fit. We're gonna smash this meal in about two hours. I'm gonna have my very last meal of the night. And it's getting late, so I'm gonna let Trevor go. But I'll go ahead and show you what that is. I'm gonna do oats. Almond milk, isoject, oatmeal cookie protein. So I'm not gonna mix it up right now, but let's just say I'm gonna do about 50 grams of carbs from the oats. I'm gonna mix up, let's just say about eight ounces of the almond milk, may have a little more, a little less, and I might mix a little water in with it. And do two scoops of the isoject oatmeal cookie protein, 50 grams of protein. So really no fat in the last meal. Just a second, if I do want, if I do get hungry, this is what I like to snack on, some walnuts or any sort of tree nuts, like almonds, whatever. This is perfect, so this is my last meal. It's just gonna be a shake, but if I wanna add some fats or I'm still hungry, then this is what I'll add to it. Maybe like, I don't know, a handful or so, about an ounce, whatever. So, whatever I'm feeling. Probably two handfuls. Probably two handfuls. So if I do like an ounce, it'll be probably about like anywhere from 15 to 20 grams of fat, so. Okay. I used to go really overboard with the salt in the past. So now measuring it out helps. All right, so that's it. That's it. We're gonna... Bulking on a budget and full day of eating. Bulking on a budget. Yeah, so we were able to get a lot of food for under $100. And like I said, even though prices are going up, we still got a lot of food for not that much. And so there you go. There it is, guys. It's bulking on a budget. Mm, I'm having really chicken. <laughs>